Hello my friends, today I will show you how to set up a local network between two computers with Windows 11 and Windows 10 Pro, and share files over a LAN cable, exactly the same settings will be for Windows 8 and Windows 7. This way of sharing files has several advantages compared to sharing files via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection. First, the internet is not needed here, and the second advantage is that the data transfer speed over the LAN cable will be much faster and more stable. For such a connection, you need a regular cable to connect to the internet. And this is what such a cable looks like. The cable connection scheme is simple. We connect one end of the cable to the LAN port of the laptop or computer number one. According to its shape, if the connection is correct, we should hear a click. Then we connect the other end of the cable to the LAN port of the second computer. After that, we check that the indicators on both LAN ports start to glow. The indicator on the left should glow continuously. The second indicator on the right should blink periodically or fade out for a short time. If the indicator on the left does not light up at all on either computer, then this most likely means a cable break, or incorrect cable crimping, or a malfunction of the LAN port itself. And so, if everything is in order with you and the indicators are lit as needed on two devices, we continue our video lesson and proceed to set up the first computer on which Windows 11 of the latest update is installed. In the beginning, we must give a name to the computer so that it is easy to identify it on the network, for this we click the button, Start, Open, Settings, and here we see the name of our computer, which it received when installing Windows. Yes, such a name will be difficult to remember. I click, rename. And here I will name my computer, PC1. You can name your computer whatever you like. Next. You'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect, but I'll do that later. Click search on the taskbar. Right, control panel. We go to the control panel, click, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. Open, Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on this shortcut and select, Properties. Here, select this item, and click, Properties. In this window, initially everything will be empty, like mine, check the box, use the following IP address, and fill in these fields everywhere in the same way as mine. Carefully check everything, and click, OK. We close these windows. In this window, click, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Here we open each of the three tabs and set the settings everywhere exactly the same as mine. Perhaps after you click Change Advanced Sharing Settings, you open a different window than in my video, and this means that your Windows 11 has not yet received the latest update, and it is for you that I will show you how to change these settings for Windows 11 previous update. Here you need to open each of the three tabs, and set the settings everywhere exactly the same as mine. Click, Save Changes. And with the settings of the first computer, we can say that we are done. To save our settings, you must restart your computer. We open the second computer. Here we also need to give a different name to the computer so that it is easy to identify it on the network. For this we open, Explorer. Then, this computer. And right click on an empty field. Here we select, Properties. 
and in this window you need to click, Advanced System Settings. Here we open the tab, Computer Name, Change, Remove the old computer name, and I write, PC2. Here you can also put any name that is convenient for you. I will not change the name of the group and click, OK. OK. I close this window, you can restart the computer later. I close all windows, and now I need to open the control panel. To do this, I click search on the taskbar, and here you need to write, control panel. Click on the icon. And in the program window open, network and internet. Click here, network and sharing center. Open, change adapter settings. Right click on this shortcut and select, properties. Here, select this item. And click, properties. In this window, initially everything will be empty, like mine, check the box, use the following IP address, and fill in these fields everywhere in the same way as mine. Unlike the first computer, there will be slightly different values here, so fill in everything carefully, check everything, and click, OK. We close these windows. In this window, click, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Here we go into each of the three tabs and set the settings everywhere exactly the same as mine. And after that we click, Save Changes. Let's open it again, Change Adapter Settings, and here we see that instead of an inscription, an unidentified network, network appeared, which means that all the settings on the computers are made correctly. To save our settings, you must restart your computer. PC, 1. We check the same thing on the first computer and open the network connection window. As we can see, instead of an unidentified Ethernet network, the word network also appeared. Now you can exchange files over a LAN cable between the first and second PC or laptop. For this, on PC1, open Explorer and click here on the icon. Network. As you can see in the network, I currently only have PC number 2 displayed, for some reason PC 1 is not displayed in this window. Most likely, the second computer may appear here later, and then disappear, and in order to avoid these problems, it is better to do the following. Right click on an empty spot on the desktop and select, create shortcut. Put two backslashes and write the name of your computer, I will write PC number 1. Next. Finish. Now, in the same way, I will make the PC icon number 2. To open PC number 2 on the local network, I click on this icon and a window opens asking you to enter the network data of the second computer. If the second computer has a Microsoft account, then the first time you connect in this window, you need to enter the account's network information, and here's how to do it correctly. Write the name of the second computer, I will write PC2. Then slash, and write the name of the Microsoft account, I will write, IP Malik. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account password. OK. The connection has occurred, and we see the users folder on PC2. I open that folder, open the public folder, then open the public videos folder, 
and to share with PC too, I dragged the movie from my desktop into the public videos folder. After that, the transfer of files from one computer to another via a LAN cable begins. You can see the transmission speed on the monitor, and it is a very good speed. I must say that it is quite fast and convenient. I close this window and we go to PC2. PC number 2. On PC2, I open Explorer. Click on Network. Here we see PC1 and PC2, so there is no need to make network shortcuts on the desktop. I open the PC2 folder. Then the Users folder. Open the Public folder. Then open the Public Videos folder, and here we see the movie, received via LAN cable. In the same way, you can transfer files from the second computer to PC number one. For ease of use, you can make your own network drive for each device in Explorer. To do this, I click, Network, then open PC1. Right-click on the Users folder, and choose, Map Network Drive. Finish. A network drive has been created. And if you open this PC, here we will see this network drive. You can immediately upload or download something to such a network drive, if the user of another computer has placed something there for file sharing, we can do the same on another computer. If you don't need the network drive anymore, then right-click on it and select Disconnect. After that it will disappear. If you again need an internet connection, for this we again go to the control panel, click Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. Open, Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on this shortcut and select, Properties. Here, select this item, and click, Properties. In this window, we return the checkbox to obtain an IP address automatically. And here we also return the checkbox to its old place, OK. Close all windows and now you need to pull out the LAN cable from the computer and connect the cable for the internet. This concludes my video tutorial and hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck!